A nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery showdown coming up on Thrifty AV. At Thrifty AV I go through a lot of batteries, whether in a camera like this one, an audio recorder like this Tascam, or simply a universal remote control. So it makes sense to use rechargeable batteries, but which one's the best? Well, I'm gonna try four different brands out in a showdown. Let's talk about the batteries I'm gonna use in this showdown, starting with these name brand energizers. Now, it took some looking, but I finally found that they're rated at 2300 milliamp hours right here on the back. Okay, next up is the Amazon Basics, these are rated at 2,000 milliamp hours. Okay, these Thunderbolt batteries here, these came from Harbor Freight. They're rated at 2,200 milliamp hours. And I have no idea how to pronounce this. I'll just call it Yi Zing, and they're also rated at 2,200 milliamp hours. Now I got some other ones. Uh, this was a deal on Amazon. I don't think that deal's going on anymore four double A's and four triple A's. I am not going to be testing the triple A's in this demonstration. The charger I'm going to be using in this demonstration is this Lido Kala PD4. I can do four cells at the same time. And I'm going to be discharging in these flashlights. Uh, Miko seems to be the brand. Does this count as an unboxing? Now these energizers say that they are pre-charged, so we'll see. So they weren't lying. Uh, it says it's 97%, which to me seems pretty pre-charged. Okay, now let's get into the ones from Harbor Freight. The energizer is rated at 2300 milliamp hours, and this one's rated at 2200 milliamp hours. Let's see. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds here, see if this jumps up at all. Okay, so the Harbor Freight was definitely not charged out of the package, so this will have to charge up. It's at 21% right now. Yi Zhang, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Sometimes this will jump up a little bit. Right now it's showing 21%, and it jumped up to 24%. The Amazon Basic is at 82%. When all four of these reach 100%, I'll put them in some flashlights. I did a run through with some real cheap flashlights, but the brightness levels were all over the map. And they flickered instead of going completely out when the battery started running low. I have four GearLite brand flashlights. These each run on a single AA battery. In flashlight number one, I'm putting the Energizer Recharge. This is rated at 2300 milliamp hours. In flashlight number two, I'm putting the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt. This is rated at 2200 milliamp hours. In flashlight number three, I'm putting the, the Yi Zing. This is rated at 2200 milliamp hours. And in flashlight number four, I'm putting an Amazon Basics. This is rated at 2,000 milliamp hours. And it's probably had a couple more cycles than the rest of these had. But I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, all these are fairly low cycles between two and four cycles on each of these. On my Campark V30, I'm setting the time-lapse interval to 30 seconds. Uh, that way my finished video will be at 900x. Flashlight one, flashlight two, flashlight three, flashlight four. As the batteries in my flashlights discharge, I'm charging up another Energizer, another Harbor Freight, another Yeezing, and another Amazon Basic for round two. First to go out was flashlight four, quickly followed by three, then one went out, and then two. And these flashlights flickered afterwards. So for that round, flashlight number two, 
with a Thunderbolt battery from Harbor Freight lasted the longest. But I cannot necessarily attribute that to just this battery. It might have something to do with the current draw on these various flashlights. So for this next one, I'm going to put the Energizer battery in flashlight 2. Harbor Freight battery, the Thunderbolt, is going to go into flashlight 3. Yi Zing is going to go into flashlight 4. And Amazon Basic is going to go into flashlight 1. While I'm testing the discharge on these flashlights, I'm going to test the recharge on these batteries. This Alito Kala charger says how many milliamp hours it's putting into each of these cells. So I want to see how much total milliamp hours go back into each of these batteries and that'll give me a gauge of the actual capacity of these batteries. Okay, the first recharge uh, Energizer rated at uh, 2300 milliamp hours held 2376. The Harbor Freight held 2313 and it's only rated at 2200. So that's well above 2200. The Yi Zing 1582, which is well below the 2200 rating. And the Amazon Basic 1511, which is well below the 2000 milliamp hour rating. The Yi Zing went out first as expected, followed in short order by the Energizer and the Amazon. The Thunderbolt lasted the longest again. Okay, this time around I'm going to put the fully charged Energizer in Flashlight 3, Harbor Freight in Flashlight 4, fully charged Yi Zing is going to go in Flashlight 1, and the fully charged Amazon Basic is going to go into Flashlight 2. Okay, let's charge these up. Results of the round two recharge, different batteries, same brands as round one. Amazon Basics, 2136. Energizer, 2348. Harbor Freight, 2278. And Yi Zhang, 1525. In this round, the Amazon Basic gave out first, quickly followed by the Yi Zing Energizer after that, and Harbor Freight Thunderbolt blasts the longest again. For the final round discharge test, Energizer is going to go in flashlight four. Harbor Freight's going to go in flashlight one. Yi Zing's going to go in flashlight two. Amazon Basics is going to go in flashlight 3. Okay, the third recharge is finished. These are the same batteries used in the first recharge, so it'll be interesting to see if the capacities match. The Yi Zing held 1567. Amazon Basic held 1532. Energizer held 2320. And the Harbor Freight held 2186. For this fourth round, not surprising, the Yi Zing gave out first at 100 minutes, followed by Amazon and Energizer at 125. The Harbor Freight Thunderbolt lasted 188 minutes this round. For the final recharge, the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt Magnum charged with 2237 milliamp hours. The Yi Zing with 1343. The Amazon Basic with 2158, which exceeds its rating. And the Energizer uh, Recharge 2278, which is slightly below its advertised capacity. Time for some average results. Let's talk about how many minutes of flashlight lasted. With the Harbor Freight, I got an average of 171 minutes. With the Energizers, I got an average of 131 minutes. Amazon Basics gave me 119 minutes. And the Yi Zings gave me 107 minutes. Now let's talk about recharge capacity. 
Energizer actually led the pack here with 2330 milliamp hours. They're rated at 2300. The Harbor Freight Thunderbolt Magnums averaged 2254. They're rated at 2200. One of these two Amazon cells was performing better than the other one, but on average, I got 1834 milliamp hours out of it and it was rated at 2000. One of these actually does better than 2000 and the other does worse than 2000. By far the worst are these Yeezings with 1504 milliamp hours when they're supposed to be getting 2200. One more thing to consider when purchasing rechargeable batteries is where are they made? These Energizer recharges are made in Japan. Everything else in this demonstration was made in China. If there's any other brands of batteries you would like me to test out at Thrifty AV, say so in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and remember, stay thrifty everyone.